Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mole, and in this video we're going to be finding the seasonal candles, doing the daily quests, getting our treasure cakes, and some information about today's shard event in the hidden forest. Hi my cat. What is it? We have four total seasonal candle bundles to find. Each one of these will give us 25% of the wax we need to forge a season candle, so finding all four will give us one whole season candle. We had one in the social space, one right before that first gate, and the next two are after the second gate. So one is right here, and the other one is just where the Shiver Spirit ends. And again, finding all four of these will give us one whole season candle. Nice, with those found, let's get started on today's daily quests. To meditate today, we are going to want to head all the way to the Broken Bridge area otherwise known as the Boneyard. I don't hear that name too often. I always call it Broken Bridge. But all the way over here, in between the bridge and the big whale bones, we have this little gazebo. And this is where we can find our meditation shrine. Just like all meditation quests, they're gonna give you a prompt. All you have to do is write something, send it in, and the quest is done. Today's spirit to relive is the hide and seek pioneer. They can be found in the forest brook area, which is the area with the really long river here. They can just be found in this little cave, which has a couple of crabs, so make sure you call to knock them down. The spirit isn't very difficult, but of course the hidden forest is quite rainy, so you're going to want to look out for rain. Make sure you have enough charge, and we'll get through it just fine. Pretty easy to find the checkpoints for the spirit. It just crosses the river, crosses again, and then makes its way up to that little temple towards the exit of this area. Yeah, not too difficult. Just keep an eye out on your light. To recharge your light from a jellyfish, you first have to lose all of your light, and then we're just going to walk into it or jump into it, however you get there, and recharge. This can be done on any jellyfish, it doesn't actually have to be in the hidden forest. To rid the sanctuary vortex of darkness, we first have to head to the sanctuary island. This can be done by teleporting from the nature guide, or you can fly all the way there, but that would be a very, very long time. Teleporting from the nature guide also puts us on the island where we need to be for this quest. So here's the nature guide, and we're just going to keep going around the left-hand side until we see a little light creature stuck in the sand. This is a brand new light creature. We just have to burn the darkness, and they are free. There should be a little icon above their head we can press, and this will start to initiate the quest. The light creature will bring us all the way to the vortex. So we just follow them along, deep into the ocean over here. And then all the way in the distance you might be able to spot some trash. This is where we're headed and we are going to clean up that garbage. Once you get close we might have a little cutscene. But it is a skippable cutscene if you need to. Sanctuary vortex, skip. And then we're going to head to this boat over here, where the Anxious Angler is. You can skip their interaction as well. Basically, they've noticed all the trash in the sea, and they're wondering if anyone would pick it up, and that is us. Now we just have to sit down at this meditation spot, and this will start the quest. There's going to be quite a few pieces of trash to collect, and we also have to free some of the manatees. So you can call to spot them if you need to. Otherwise, we're just going to swim around, find them. Some of them might be underwater too. So you may have to dive to find some of the trash. 
and some of them may take a couple taps to actually grab. You might have to rearrange where you are. Sometimes they slip past you. They can be somewhat finicky, but altogether not too hard. We're gonna free the mantas too. The vortex looks pretty cool. This one kept um, bringing me down and then up when I bread push it. It was very weird. Just let me free it. There we go. And doing that, we'd complete our quest. And as an extra reward, we have this giant shell over here that we can open and get some wax. Yay, quest is complete. For today's treasure candles in the Valley of Triumph, we have our first one here in the social space. Our next one can be found just below on this little bridge here. Our third is in the Citadel area right here on this little arch. And our fourth and final one can be found on the left side of the Colosseum Ice Rink here. Sad news for today, it looks like it is a no shard day. That means that absolutely no shard will be falling in any of the realms today. Unfortunate. And that is it for today's Daily Changes in Sky. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Hope you enjoyed. And I will, of course, see you in the next video. Bye-bye!